We are here to use our voices to speak up for the change that needs to be made to protect our kids. Hey, how we doing? You all right? Welcome back to, well, our family's YouTube channel. It used to be Sinead's channel, now it's our family's channel. Spring has officially sprung. I don't know if you can see out the window, but it is absolutely lovely outside and our garden and the outside of our house is in a bit of a state winters can be pretty hard out here in franklin tennessee and in this video i'm pretty much going to sort the whole lot out shanae is ill she will be in the video she's lost her voice i'm going to show you her in a second but yeah she's uh, in a bit of a ropey way we don't know what it is some sort of viral infection um so you know if you were going to see her in person i'll tell you to keep away but you're not you're going to see her from the video so you're fine no need to put a mask on you can just crack on as you are on the couch oh is that Hello. oh there she is i was just talking about you oh. just saying how fucked you are <laughs> Being sick has made me feel entirely useless, but it's also made me just pause and enjoy things like riding a scooter, which I have not done since I was probably close to Bowie's age. It's normally Josh who's out playing with the kids and doing all of that because I always feel like there's a million things that I should be doing, but right now my brain is so foggy that I can't even think of all the things that I should be doing, so I'm not doing any of them and it feels pretty good. I do feel bad because, well, I have just been busy playing basketball and soccer and scootering around. He has even installed lights at the front of our house to make it look more beautiful at nighttime. He's out doing manual labor in the field, in the yard. Oh man. Hello, it's a new day. I'm still feeling not so great. I like had a little kick yesterday because I started taking the medication and then this morning woke up and we're all still feeling sick. So I'm doing a little bit of work. Kingsley is napping and Josh and Bowie are gonna go and grab more plants for the garden. We're gonna do some herbs. We're gonna do some maybe fruit and veg. I don't know, they're gonna surprise me and then we will, I will get involved today. I will get involved today. It's another day in Franklin, Tennessee, and spring has officially left. So pretty much everything I was doing in the garden is either just washed away, blown away, <laughs> or just gonna die. So yeah, I've had to stop that for a minute. But Shen is feeling better. Yay. How are you doing? I'm feeling much better. My voice is back. Yay. I had like a sexy Phoebe voice thing going on for a minute there though. So Are you feeling you know. good? What was it? I have no idea. Just didn't want to be on the video. No, I have no idea, but I did a steroid pack and it made me feel better. I normally try and avoid those things, but. All right, let's just see your fitness again. So let's uh, some star jumps, check your fully good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Let's see your breathing now. <laughs> So, Shen is feeling a lot better. Um, we are now, when you watch this, almost two weeks since the horrific events at our local school in Nashville, which I'm sure at this point you all know about. If you watched our vlog last week, we talked about it and we addressed it quickly. Um, conversations like that, I'm sure, make some of you uncomfortable. And that's okay. That's why we're talking about it. I think we'd be doing a disservice to our children and the children of our community 
if we didn't mm -hmm. use our voices more because right now Bowie can't speak up, mm -hmm. you know, and Kingsley definitely can't. So, you know, something that we wanted to do a few days ago, but Shen was still feeling a little under the weather was go to a protest that was happening, a peaceful protest that was happening at the Capitol building in Nashville. And there's one tomorrow now and you are feeling up for it and yeah. you've done all the COVID tests and all that and she's good. So we're hoping to go to that tomorrow. And to be honest, I feel like when it comes to that going to that, I really don't know like what it's going to be like or what it's going to kind of result in. But I know that for us, we are so anxious we're just like riddled with anxiety and stress trying to kind of navigate how can we help the families that have been affected how can we ensure that this doesn't happen again yeah. how do we best move forward and make the right decisions for our family and our kids and so i don't have the answers to those <laughs> things yet but i think it's going to feel helpful to yeah, just yeah. be in the presence of yeah. Yeah. like-minded people who are as scared and upset as we are and just yeah. trying to be proactive in some form or fashion to change the path for our kids future so that this doesn't happen again would we all rather live in a world and the people that we surround ourselves with live in a world without guns absolutely but that isn't the reality in america mm -hmm. um what we're personally campaigning for is better restrictions i don't and better laws and common sense laws ultimately i said on my social media the other day that i don't think anybody and that doesn't matter if you're an ex-marine a content creator a doctor a teacher a student no i don't think anyone should be able to go in in any state and buy a firearm without background checks now most states do that they're pretty limited um, I don't think you should be able to buy a gun without some sort of mental health check. That's so important anyway, like mental health as well. But it's even more important to, to check on our mental health, especially if you are thinking about buying a gun. So that's one step I think that would be huge. It's just little things like that, which would make an absolutely huge difference. I just don't understand why anyone would have an issue with that. If you feel that you are deemed a responsible, safe, and you know, a well enough mind firearm owner, like why having to jump through a couple of extra hoops, is that a big deal? If that's going to hopefully and likely restrict people who would be irresponsible, unsafe, and mentally unstable gun owners from getting access to them. Like it's been no surprise to any of the people in the inner circles of these shooters after the fact when interviews are conducted that this is something that they did or would have done doctors therapists family friends former classmates etc like everyone after the fact is always like oh yeah you know and well this happened or they said that and da 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 da, da. so it's like having processes in place that would flag those things before it got to that point where it was able to happen yeah. would hopefully yeah. eliminate a lot of these scenarios from happening and yeah. i just don't understand why anybody would would take issue with that I, we talked about like when you go for your driver's license test right you have to do your written exam theory Vision. exam practical exam and eye exam to make sure that you can see clearly and blah 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 blah, blah. so it's like you know if mental health is the problem right then let's talk about the mental health and how can we address the mental health problem. Well, this is ultimately, it's not one or the other. No. It's mental health and guns are the problem combined, obviously, yeah. right? You know, so this isn't about a side. It's not about left versus right. I'm asking you to stop thinking about the left and the right, blue, red, what color hat it is that the person you vote for is wearing. It, it's irrelevant. At this point, what we are talking about is making it safer for our kids to go to school and common sense gun laws. I think there's ultimately going to be solutions that both sides of the line advocate for that can help protect our kids. So we need to start approaching 
this subject and these conversations with more of an open mind in order for progressive steps to be taken absolutely to ensure that our kids are safe when they're going to school period end of story don't let this be another thing that divides us this should be something that brings us together because ultimately we all want the same thing we want our kids to be safe and just a side note, this next part of the video is going to be sensitive for some people to watch, so viewer's discretion is advised. We are here to use our voices to speak up for the change that needs to be made to protect our kids. I'm already feeling emotional and we're not even there, but I just think it's going to be really good to be surrounded by like-minded people who are actually taking action instead of just sitting on their hands at home. 